Hello everyone. So I don't know about you, but I like to start my day with a nice cold cup of coffee. And I know what you're thinking, cold coffee, that sounds kind of gross. But if you're like me and you have a sensitive stomach, the traditional coffee that you would hot brew kind of can make your stomach yeah, feel mommy. a little bit icky. Now, what I have done is I have switched to cold brew because I find it is less acidic, it's easier in your tummy, it's a little bit sweeter so you don't have to add as much stuff to it and it's just all around a better taste of, of coffee. Now, buying it from the store is super expensive, but Tupperware has this amazing product called the Cold Brew Carafe. Now, you don't just have to make coffee in it, you can make tea, you can make, um, you can make fruit infused wine, you can use it as a base for sangria. It really is an amazing versatile product. But before I start with the cold brew carafe, I'm going to show you how I grind my coffee beans. And to do that, I'm going to be using the master system. So this is the base that comes with it, all about that base. Now it comes separately than the rest of the attachments. There are a bunch of attachments for the master system that you can get. There is a sorbet maker, there's a juicer, there is a mincer for you to make your own sausages. There is a ton of different ways that you can use this, but I'm going to be using the grater. So it just slides on like this and then you just lock it in place. Now this really locking system is really neat because it locks right to your table and you don't have to worry about it moving all over the place. It does need to be used on a flat surface. So my countertops have a little bit of like um, grooves or divots in it because of the way that they're made. So it doesn't lock correctly on mine. So this is why I use it on my table. And then I'm just going to have one of the trio cones that these come separate than the greater system. But I really like it because if you look, they have really kind of larger um, cuts on them, which helps for a really coarse round for you want. Now, I have one of my win or, uh, one touch canisters, and this is what I'm going to be grinding the coffee into. I do have a little bit in there, but oh, it smells so good. A little top tip for you. Anything that you see with Tupperware that has a round seal is actually liquid and airtight. So it is perfect for storing your coffee beans because it just, it keeps everything so fresh. So next thing I'm going to do is again, I have my coffee beans, <laughs> still in the mirror, in my one touch canister. And I just have one of our little scoops. And I'm just going to put some into the top like this. Not too much, not too little. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna kind of place that like this. And then I'm going to follow the arrows that are actually on the handle and I'm just gonna turn it. up at the top here so that you're helping to kind of push all of those coffee beans down and you just turn the handle it's as easy as that and I keep adjusting the top here because some of the coffee beans like to jump up to the sides and you want to get them all done is all done. Now, I just bought a new bag of coffee from a local shop here in Cambridge, and I want to open it up to use it for my next one, so I just have a little bit of these beans left, and I'm just going to use the rest of them. This way, after this is done, normally a, a carafe of coffee lasts me about two, three, four-ish days, um, maybe a little bit less if my husband is drinking it as well. So, in a couple days, I'm gonna to have to make another one and at least I'm going to have fresh coffee for that one as well. Now this is really great if you go camping or if you um, are up to the cottage or you're somewhere where you don't have a lot of electricity because you can bring this with you and then you can have fresh cold brew coffee because again, 
All you do is you put the water in it and let it sit overnight. to do is because I don't want to lose any coffee I'm just going to take the handle off oh and I can see my phone has shifted a little bit I'll just shift you back over here there we go and see the cone comes right out like that so I can just tap 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 and get all that coffee out I am going to put the cover back on because as I said it is very sharp and then I'm going to unlock it very carefully and then just slide this out Mommy. and then this is ready to go um, into the dishwasher I would recommend washing this by hand though Maybe it the water. and then we can just kind of move this all out of the way so now I can show you my favorite part which is setting up your carafe so it comes in the three pieces you have the cap you have the filter and then you have the actual carafe now you kind of just put it all together. This is really neat. Um, it doesn't seal it, so that's a little tip for you as well. It does not seal it. But once you have your carafe ready to go, you can actually take the filter and place it like this on your tabletop, and that'll help to catch all of the little extra water so it doesn't get all over your table. So we're just going to put it together, and then we're going to take our... Okay, the scoop, and we're just going to pour it in. Now there are a few lines on the filter. So this first line here is for regular strength coffee. This one up here is for espresso style. Mommy, Hold on baby. And then this one up here is the water line. Now if you're using tea in it, I usually fill the tea bags up to, or the tea leaves or bags up to here. But I like to fill my coffee just above that first line. So I find that that is a nice strength. No baby. So then I can take this, I can put this. And my favorite part about these canisters, you just push the middle and it is completely sealed. Now this is just regular tap water, but I didn't want to be going to my sink, so I filled up one of our juice jugs. And you're just going to do a slow pour over top. <laughs> Mommy, am I good? You're a good girl. Do you want to pour it? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, be very, very careful. Yeah. I'll help you. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, baby. Look at it. Look at mm -hmm. and film it. And you can see the water is already changing colors. You're doing such a good job. Up slowly, slowly, slowly. And then right when, no, a little bit more. Right when that water gets to the top there. And that's enough. So see the water kind of sits right up here at the top and as I said you can see the water already starting to change colors but this will get much darker. So essentially what you do is you just put the cap on it and then you place this into the fridge for 8 to 12 hours depending on how strong you like it. Um, halfway through I like to kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle because I find sometimes the coffee beans can kind of stick to the top and I like to make sure that they're all the way down. So as I said about maybe after an hour or two um, or a little bit longer, depending on when I remember to do it, I'll come and I'll give it a little bit of a shake so that the coffee beans go down to the bottom of the filter. And that is how you set up the cold brew carafe. Now I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and then I will come back and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Thanks everyone, bye. So I'm coming back to do the reveal. This is the cold brew. You can see I cheated a little bit and I made a coffee this morning, but you can see the nice dark color, so you know that it is done. So as I was saying in the before video, you can kind of just place it like that and you can let all of that great coffee drain out of it because we don't want to miss any coffee, right? And you can kind of just sit there and let that drain. Now, if you're impatient like I am, you can just take it and you can wiggle it a little bit. And that kind of helps you to get more of the coffee out as well. Or if you are a patient person, you can literally just sit there and wait. 
But as I was saying, the cap is fantastic because you can take the filter and you can place it right on the cap and any extra coffee is actually going to drain into that cap so that you can pour it into whatever container you're storing it in. For me, I like to put it in an eco bottle. And I do that for a couple reasons. One, a full carafe fits perfectly in a large eco bottle. And the other thing is, once you put the cap or the seal on, it is actually liquid and airtight. So it keeps the flavor of your coffee for a lot longer. So if we just sit there and pour it. As you can see, it does fit perfectly. And that is how you grind your own coffee beans and then prepare your cold brew craft. Thanks for watching.